Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is React.js video tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain using post API method how to insert records in React.js. Now let's check the final output. Employee name Ben Ben at gmail.com and salary is 15,000. Now before insert the record, let's browse the table employee table for this moment we got only two records Sharon and Peter click insert see here we got a message the employee Ben is saved successfully click ok now we'll check in our database employee table browse see here we got the Ben details let's check another uh, details Kavita Kavi at yahoo.com and salary is 25,000 Click insert. We got a message. The empire Kavita is saved successfully. Click OK. We check the empire table Kavita. Employee ID is 4. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous React.js tutorials. You can find those video tutorials in my channel playlist. Now let's continue the today's tutorial how to insert a post data using REST API POST method in React.js. If you notice here in the browser, this API I have created in the Django REST framework. This is a Django REST framework API which is a POST method. Now with the help of this Django REST API POST method, I want to insert records into this employee table using react.js application so first we'll create a new react.js application just for the time saving i have created a new react.js application which is the insert record let me expand this application when i expand this application notice there are some default files and folders are created automatically let me allow the source folder also by default, any React.js application contains app.js, which is a default component of our application. Now, instead of running this application, I'm creating my new component in this source folder. Right click the source folder, new file, and the file name is postdata.js file. Now, in this post.js file, we can create a components. In React.js, we can create two types of components, functional components and class component. But here in this example, I'm creating the class component. But before that, we need to import the React class from the React library. So first, let's do that one first. Import React from the React library. After that, I'm defining a class called PostData which extends react component after that this function render method and return in the return method I'm defining the root element div which is a displays output of our component I'm defining one center tag Inside the center tag, I'm adding one h1. How to insert record using post API method React JS application. After that, I'm adding one horizontal. Now after the horizontal line, I'm adding one simple table and this table contains a border is 1. Then the table contains a table rows and table data. In our table we have three columns, EMP name, email and salary. employee name td input type i'm adding a text box 
element placeholder enter emp name let's copy this one i require two more text box controls for the email and salary enter email and this one is a salary let's change the labels also email and this one salary after that I am adding one more TR TD the first TD I am leaving blank and the second TD contains a button control button is insert the button name is and this button type is a submit that's it it's a very simple table contains employee name with three text box controls employee name email and salary and one button control let's save this file save all and one more thing we need to add export default post data this character post data if you don't add we'll get an error so let's add this line save this file now now when we want to render this component on the browser we need to configure the index.js file open that one if you notice in this render method it contains the app component which is a default component of our application now instead of app i want to render my component which is post data i am removing app component instead of app i am adding my component name that's it let's save this application save all now to run this application first we need to add our application name to this path cd insert record after that there is a command called npm start to run the react.js application enter And here we got the output of our react.js component which contains the heading tags header tags three text box control employee name email salary and one button control to insert the records into this table now now the logic we need to call this post api method this post api method for that we need to configure in the django settings.py python file to call this uh, to access this REST API. So, we need to open course headers and from the search results, I am opening the first option and the django.course headers is a package, it's a free open source. We don't require any license to use these packages. So in this course headers is a cross origin resource sharing. So first we need to add this install this course headers in the Django application. So let's open our Django application. This is my Django application. If you want to learn the Django and Python tutorials, you can find plenty of tutorials in my channel playlist. Now we have to configure in the settings.py page in the Django application. Uh, before that, let's come out, copy that command python m pip install Django course headers. After installing the Django course headers, now in the open settings.py page, first we need to add this course headers copy that one in the install underscore apps so let's add that one in the settings of py install underscore apps i'm pasting the core headers. now the second thing in the middleware we need to add this line 
Okay, this one. And this line we need to add Django dot middleware dot common. Above that one we have to add middleware dot common. This is I'm adding that thing. After that, the most important step. We need to add the course allowed origins. Copy that one in the settings page. Let's add that here. And here we have to access our React.js application. To add our React.js application, let's delete these unnecessary URLs, domain names. If you check our React.js application, it contains a 3000 localhost 3000. Copy that one and paste here instead of 8080 i'm adding 3000 that's it let's save this file now we can access this react.js application from this django api after that now switch over to the react.js application in the post.js now first let's create a constructor in the class constructor in this constructor, when we are adding constructor, we require to add a super method. After that, this dot state is equals to. Now, in this state, I'm adding the properties. Uh, I want to insert emp name, emp name, email, and salary. And these properties we will have to add into our input element. First one is the name is equals to I am adding emp name value is equals to and value is equals to this dot state dot emp name the property I am adding. After that for the email name is equals to email and value is equals to this dot state dot email the property i'm adding let's copy this one for the salary instead of email i'm adding salary and here also the name i'm adding salary after that on change event on change is equals to now in this on change event save data here i'm adding the values i want to save these values i want to save save for that, I'm adding this dot set state method. In the set state method, I'm adding emp name colon save data dot target dot value. So let's copy this one and add for the email. Instead of EMP name, I'm adding email. And for the salary is salary. So after that, the button control on click event and this on click event. this dot I'm adding the function name is uh, insert data is a function name now we'll create a function insert data now this insert data function contains a fetch fetch the input request info which contains 
the url our url is this one copy this one and paste here comma then this api method is the fetch method post method so post method after that we need to add the headers headers that the headers are content type application json we should put in the single quotes then comma comma now here one important step is body dot json body colon json dot string file method in the string file method i'm adding and this string file method contains the values i want to save this dot state these values this dot state i'm adding here that's it once the records are inserted successfully i want to display one simple alert message the employee this dot the value this dot state dot emp i'm adding here this employee name is saved successfully that's it we have written the complete coding part let's save this application first save all make sure the api is running python manage.py run server oops here we don't require this forward slash save again save all now it's working perfectly i'm running my service also the django service and also this compiled successfully now i'm reloading the browser of this react app let's check the final output the employee name i'm adding is a ben ben at gmail.com and its salary is 15,000. Now, before insert this Ben employee details into this table, let's browse the table again. At this moment, this employee table contains only two records, Charan and Peter. Let's insert the Ben record insert. Oops, we're not getting any message. Let's fill up the browser. Let's check the button submit on click keyword. Insert data is a method let's save this file compile successfully now let's reload the browser now let's check the final output employee name ben ben at gmail.com and salary is 15,000 now before insert the record let's browse the table employee table at this moment we got only two records Sharon and Peter click insert see here we got a message the employee ben is saved successfully click ok now we'll check in our database and by table browse. See here we got the Ben details. Let's check another uh, details. Kavita, kavit at yahoo.com and salary is 25,000. Click insert. We got a message the empire Kavita is saved successfully. Click OK. We check the empire table Kavita. Employee ID is 4. That's it. With the help of the Django REST API post method to insert records into this employee table in React.js application. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel.